Good afternoon. I would like to remind you that the judgment in the case of Vlasimir Georgievich will be rendered this afternoon at 2.15 in courtroom one. Georgievich, a former senior Serbian police official, is charged with crimes against humanity and war crimes committed against Kosovo Albanian civilians in 1999. The trial began on 27th of January 2009 and concluded with the closing arguments which were held on the 13th and 14th of July 2010. It will be broadcast live. In the trial of Radovan Karadžić, the trial chamber on Friday suspended the contempt proceedings against Bjerko Zecevic following his agreement at his initial appearance to testify as a prosecution witness in the case. His testimony started yesterday afternoon and resumed this morning. He was charged with contempt, arrested, and brought to the detention unit after failing to comply with the chamber's order to appear as a witness in the Karadžić trial. Zecevic is an associate professor and the head of the Defense Technology Department at the Mechanical Engineering Faculty of the University of Sarajevo. His evidence relates to the nature of munitions supplied to and used by the Bosnian Serb Army and the location from which the projectile was fired that hit the Marka Markle market in Sarajevo on the 5th of February 1994. He has already testified as an expert and fact witness in a number of cases, including that of Slobodan Milosevic. And the trial in the second contempt of court case uh, of Vojislav Šešelj started yesterday morning. Šešelj is accused of having disclosed information on 11 protected witnesses, including their names, occupations, and places of residence in a book he authored. The hearing adjourned after the end of the prosecution case and will resume at the date to be confirmed, pending the resolution of issue pertaining to the funding of the accused defense. And closing arguments in the trial of Perlich and others are still ongoing. To date, the closing arguments of the prosecution and those of Jadranko Perlich, Bruno Stoic, Slobodan Praljak, and Milivoj Petkovic have been heard. The chamber will continue hearing the closing arguments of Valentin Choric this afternoon, which will be followed by those of Bereslav Pusic. Each defense team has five hours to present their arguments. And the hearing in the trial of Zdravko Tolomir continued this week and next is scheduled. The chamber is currently hearing the testimony of a prosecution witness, Dan Mani Dean Manning, former OTP investigator on Srebrenica events. He is the 85th witness to be called so far by the prosecution since the start of the trial on 26th of February last year. And I would like to conclude by providing you with a brief update on the War Crimes Justice Project. Yesterday, the trial chamber conducted a training session with Montenegrin legal professionals from the Higher Court in Podgorica and Bielopolje and the Basic and Special Prosecutor's Office in Podgorica. Tomorrow, it will, be, it will hold another similar training session for two days with prosecutors and legal advisors from various cantonal offices of the prosecutor in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. The goal of these training sessions is to tr transfer the tribunal's institutional knowledge and specialized skills to jurisdictions in the region and to enhance their capacity to handle complex war crimes cases. Similar training has already taken place in Bal Belgrade, Sarajevo, and Zagreb since the launch of the project in September 2010, and further sessions are scheduled to be held in the region in the coming months. Office of the Prosecutor. No. Questions? No questions. Thank you very much. See you next week.